This is Hicksville on the Long Island Railroad. Follow the markers to catch the train. The Long Island Railroad offers the ability to ride and operate a multitude of commuter trains along North America's busiest railroad, between New York Penn and Hicksville. You are currently riding an M7 electric multiple unit formed of four A and B coach pairs. Over 400 of these trains operate on a daily basis. Sim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. You've only traveled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to North America's busiest railroad. Visit Jamaica Station, the backbone of this intense commuter network with its impressive glass concourse. Journey underground into the heart of New York. Operate in and out of Atlantic Terminal. Take services along the scenic Hempstead branch and finish up at the eastern limit of Hicksville. Along the way, don't forget to replace misplaced fire extinguishers update line maps in stations, add local advertising, and repair any damaged fences. Welcome to the Long Island Railroad.
Welcome to this M7 electric multiple unit in Long Island Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup, stopping, and passenger door operations. A lot of time will be spent in the engineer's seat, so climb aboard to get started. The master key is used to activate the control desk. The reverser determines the direction of travel. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle, which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. Before powering up the unit, the brakes need to be charged to a safe level. Lights are important to let others around know that this unit is active. To unlock the doors, a key must be inserted into the corresponding door control panel and then set to doors comms. Increase the master controller to start moving. Be careful not to apply too much power too quickly, otherwise you might damage the couplings or upset the passengers. is a method used to easily move without engaging power. On a flat gradient, this is great for maintaining a speed limit. We will be stopping at Country Life Press a little further up the line and performing another passenger loading procedure. on our final approach to Country Life Press and need to start applying a small amount of brake force to perform a comp.
Good work. Like before, open the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. Now, take what you've learned and put it into practice. Complete the next stop at Garden City on your own.
Good work. That's the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train.